Let's walk through how you're going to assess uh, roof conditions. So that's the next choice down under roof. So let's take a look at each one of these, take an example, walk through how you would do the assessment on the roof. Let's teleport to check out the number of house stories. That's the first one. So we click on teleport. We can take a look. It's pretty clear, obvious that we can choose the number of stories. So in this case, we can choose one, two, or three. Got a one-story house. That's good. What about the roofing material? Let's click on the teleport to go there. And here, you know, you can examine the roof. The idea is that uh, you want to be able to tell the crew exactly what you found when you did your site survey. Choices here are different types of uh, typical roofing materials. Uh, you can do flat tile, S-tile, and so on, maybe barrel tile. In this case, it's composite asphalt shingle. Might have an image of that from a Google picture, but it's good to reconfirm that exactly. And also in terms of different types of tile, if you're doing tile, you won't know exactly what that is from a Google picture. It's only going to be able to be assessed on the ground or actually on the roof. <laughs> How about eave damage? Let's take a look at that. Let's teleport. and We get to be able to look at the side here and you can observe whether there's any damage already on some of the eaves. In this case, this looks pretty clean right here. So I'm going to be able to say, is there eave damage? No. But the idea is you'd be looking for water damage, which would be a sign to have a discussion with that homeowner about the fact that, hey, if we're going to work on your roof, we don't want you blaming us for water damage that you already have. Let's do some roof repairs first. How about gutter debris? Let's take a look at that. Here you can examine inside. You can look inside the gutter and check and see if there's debris. The idea would be that if you have composite shingle, those granules might be building up in the gutter. Um, that would be a sign that you've got an aging roof. And there again, you'd want to have a discussion with the homeowner about re-roofing as opposed to just putting solar on a old bad roof. So you want to take a look in the gutter to see if there's any granules. That's one way to assess the state of the roof. In this case, uh, we get to say, uh, instead of being granules present, that it's clean. And how about rooftop electrical hazards? Let's teleport to that. The idea is that, in fact, I'm going to clip down here on the clipboard, make it go away for a minute, just so I have full view of everything. The idea is that you get to look around and see if there's any electrical hazards. And indeed, in this case, there are electrical wires. And if I move around here, you can see, you know, those wires go over the roof area where the guys would be working. So I definitely want to report that as a condition ahead of time. So I'm going to click down here on clipboard, bring it back up. And the choices here for roof hazards are uh, no hazards or utility wires nearby, or maybe there's a utility service entrance drop bringing the power into the house nearby on that roof surface. In this case, we've got utility wires nearby. I'm going to want to make that noted so that the uh, crew will already be uh, anticipating the fact that they're going to have to be careful and work around those electrical wires. And then finally, what about roof sag? Let's teleport and take a look. And once again, you'd, you'd look at it from different angles. You'd be on the roof yourself, and you'd actually be looking to see if there's any sagging areas. You could look at it from the ground and see if you know the roof sagged. In this particular case, this roof looks good. There's no areas where the rafters are lifting the roof up or the roof is sagging down. Um, so I would be able to say no sag, although you could report uh, less than an inch or up to an inch or two inches. You want to have that reported to the crew and note where on the roof that occurs if there's a problem like that. But in this case, we can report no sag. So that's the kind of stuff that you do on your roof assessment. And that's the kind of stuff that you cannot do just from a Google picture. You have to do that on your site assessment at the roof. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.